So hi there guys, welcome back to Sea Life Fishing Guernsey. A long time no see. Been three weeks only since we put a video up. Fishing's been really slow. And uh, yeah, been really, really busy with work and stuff and other bits and pieces. So hopefully today we can come out and find you a bass or a wrasse. We'll be mixing up and probably try a bit of uh, bass fishing first. And then we'll uh, try for the rest of the tide drops. Halfway, uh, half an hour away from high tide now. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful condition, 23 degrees. Bit of a breeze, but can't complain. So you can uh, hit the like button guys, subscribe, share on all platforms, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Really get that channel out there, super at 400 subs. So yeah, and a big shout out as well while we're on about Instagram. So uh, go on Fish and Tackle Shop. Uh, go and give me a um, follow on Instagram and check out his shop on there. Got some absolutely brilliant lures and bits and pieces. He's uh, kind enough to uh, send us over a jumper uh, from his uh, shop. So yeah, and a few uh, bits of tackle. So that's that's you legend. I say go and uh, give him a shout out and a check on our Instagram. So yeah, so we're gonna make our way down to the mark now, guys. And we'll catch you down there. See our fishing Guernsey. So uh, guys, a quick setup of uh, what we're going to be using. We're going to be using the good old Scary Zeal. We've got the Sienna 4000 size reel. Brilliant uh, reel this for bass fishing. Not too expensive, does the job. And we've got 20 pound braid on. Just um, We're using straight, uh, just a clint swivel straight to the lure, no leader or nothing. And then we've got the good old Venerate Abu Garcia, 20 to 60 gram, 11 foot rod. And that's all we're going to be starting off with guys. So we're going to start off with a bit of bass fishing and then uh, if that doesn't work we'll uh, try for a wrasse at probably another mark. There's plenty of area to cover around here so yeah, let's hit those uh, bass, let's see our fish in Guernsey. What a cracking day. It's just lovely to be back out again. Oh, it's crystal clear as well. All we're doing is just a standard retrieve straight back in with the odd twitch. That's some nice bass in here in the uh, past. So hopefully they'll be here today. We've got about 20 or 30 cast guys on the scary seal. Gonna uh, change off a little bit now. They'll probably give a hard plastic a go. We're gonna give the kimono Suzuki SF145 a go. Got a nice rattle in it as well. So hopefully with a bit of a uh, shine on the water. Hopefully uh, this can prevail. We'll get a bit more distance on it as well. So a bit further back, we had a knock on the back of the, uh, the scary seal before. Only a small fish, I think it was. But well, we're going to keep going and hopefully we can find something. Conditions are lovely as well. You can see that there, a bit of chop in the water. That's quite clear there, that's the only thing. But it doesn't matter if we don't catch anything, it's just lovely to be out here anyway. Here we are guys, go give you a quick show. We've got the uh, Fort of March and uh, Fort here. Of, uh, built in 1793 to uh, 1850s. Fears of the uh, French invasion prompted uh, major works to carry out to the fort. So yeah, there it is there. I'll, uh, I'll just walk up the steps and give you a show of it. Yeah, the old tunnel there. Here's the old cells. 
prisoners would have been kept in those older four back in the other day. Eerie. Pretty cool though. And here we are, look at this. All the old uh, gun emplacements there. It's in the corner there. You see where the rod's pointing. You had a big machine gun there. Same as uh, over there. All the way around. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. So yeah, you wouldn't have wanted, uh, wanted to be a boat uh, out there, to be honest. That's for sure. You'd have been getting uh, hammered with those big uh, guns. Oh, look at that for a view, guys. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Got another little gun emplacement there as well. Would have been. See in the background, right out there. Uh, behind the heads out there is Aldney. Got France in the background. You got Herm over that way. And Sark behind. And then Jersey is the other side as well. So yeah, you can't be uh, beating an island, well, living on an island like this, absolutely beautiful. But that's the good thing as well, hardly anything's ever been touched here, so it's all uh, legit, it's all still from when uh, it was built pretty much, apart from the guns ain't here anymore. Nice drop off there. So yeah, awesome. So, gonna have a few more uh, casts the other side, guys. Just gonna uh, truck the lower out a few more times, and if that doesn't prevail, we're going to uh, go and try for a rass, I think, just to uh, hopefully find something. Because their fishing's really, really slow at the moment. Everyone's saying the same thing, they're struggling to catch any fish. But hey ho, if you don't catch, it's just nice to be out fishing. As well, as before I give you a show of these, well, guys, where probably you'd have had people standing out here with the old gun. <laughs> would have been. There were big ships out there years ago, you would have thought. And yeah, like I say you wouldn't have wanted to be a boat you'd have been getting blasted out of the water. So yeah, see our fishing, let's get back on with the fishing. So let's change the tactics now guys. Still got the lure rod. We got the um, ras rod now. Uh, do a bit of Texas rigging for a ras. Just try and get a fish or two. Had that fear of catching a fish on the shore again. So yeah, we're heading off, uh, making our way to the mark now guys. It's uh, produced a lot of rats for me in the past this place, so hopefully it doesn't fail me today. And we can find you one or two. So we're riding the mark, guys. I said the bass fishing didn't uh, take off. I might try again after. See how the bass fishing goes. All we're using is a float stop, half ounce weight, there's a bit of tide here. And it's got a one ounce um, one o hook. As simple as that. Let's tie straight down to the braid again. I'd say no leader or nothing. And choose if you uh, use a leader. And all we're using is a good old gold worms. Trying to smell everywhere. There they are. Absolutely brilliant uh, bait. If you can't get hold of the real rag and this stuff works just as well. That's all it is. Go about an inch down the uh, worm, come through, pull the worm over the uh, shank of the hook. I like to go onto the actual line. And all it is, follow with your thumb where you want to go and it's as simple as that and hopefully Mr. Rass comes a munch you. <laughs> so all we're doing guys dropping down to the bottom and literally jigging the rod you can make that worm move like it's real and it's as simple as that. So there's some great rass in here in the past plenty of marks to fish here as well so hopefully I can find you something. I hope that wind's not too much of a pain as well. Got northeast this blowing straight in behind. It's just literally doing that move and look at the big dark patches where the rash you think would hide. Or somewhere like down there, you wouldn't think there'd be anything down here. And you drop down, there's a big rash just sat there. You never know where these fish are gonna be. I'll start a little bit too high yet for where I want to go, but 
just keep trying. We moved over a little bit now, guys. We've gone the other side to try. We'll head back to the other side after. It's just the tide's a little bit too high, yeah? To fish. But this area looks absolutely brilliant here as well. It's got to be a rass in here. As I sorry about the wind noise, if there's any. Wind's blowing head on here, so. Oh, oh, there's a bite. You never know the size of the rass around here either. That's not actually busters before. I said I'd just be happy with a fish today, to be honest. Any size is a fish today. Break that dock on the uh, shore. Boat's been all right. So all we're doing is knock at the end of the rod, getting that worm to dance in the bottom. All the bait fish down there, I don't know if you can see that guys. Tons of little sand eels, tons and tons of them. When a, when a fish uh, bites, guys, you'll be the first to know. Oh, we had a fish there, guys. Yeah, look at that. There's fish down there. Bait's hammered. That was a nice fish. Get rebaited up and get back out there. It's a good sign. Right, straight away, guys, literally just hit the water. Go on. That last one came out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, there we are. Yeah, look at this, guys. Fish on. Oh, beautiful. Yes, we've broken the dock on the shore, baby. Not big, big. Don't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Beautiful. Just proud to break the dock again. Let's get that fish. Lovely colours as well. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Small, but nonetheless. I don't care. As he nailed the uh, hook, lovely hook. So we're gonna get on hook, guys, and we'll get a release of her. There we go, guys. Just got him unhooked. Look at that in the sun. Look at the colours. Lovely camo. Big, big eyes. You would not want to be a crab or a worm seeing those teeth. Look at that. So we're gonna get a uh, release, hopefully, of underwater with this one, guys. Yeah, let's get some bigger ones. Here we go, one last show of her. Before we had a back to the gap. There's no rats down, guys. So it's done to see our fishing. Go out find the bath, go out for the rats. I hope the uh, video has come out of that one. Couldn't let the actual video was filming. For some reason on camera. Hopefully it got the part of the fish. But yeah, let's get some more. So we're going to wangle one more fish out guys, we're probably going to call it a day there. So we're breaking that dock catching a fish again. It wasn't a bath, but I'd say a fish fish at the end of the day. It's a bit of fun, let's do this all day. Would have been nice if we got a big fire with a big pan, but the way the fishing is at the moment, anything's well, to be honest. So a good couple of hours spent, so I can't complain really. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice to finish the trip with a nice, one more raft. Come on. Down, and I'm going to call it a day. So you can't beat the tip of that view, guys. Absolutely beautiful, this island. So if you get a chance as well, you're coming over to Guernsey, go and check out the likes of Herm, Dark. Absolutely brilliant. You've got Lee as well, you can go and check out on the west coast of Guernsey on a big low tide. Definitely recommend going and uh, check that out. 
we're going to get on certain tides and times but I wouldn't recommend going uh, there if you don't know what you're doing with the tides to be honest but yeah if you got the chance go and check them out you can't beat it oh go on go on no So I'm living in paradise to be honest, literally a stone far away from the sea, from whatever area of the island you're on. Like I said before as well, at the start of the video go and check out um, Golden Fishing Tackle Shop on Instagram. I'll put his name up on there in the video. I'll tell you he's good enough uh, to send over a jumper, as I think it's a jumper or a t-shirt. Oh, that's a fish. And uh, he's gonna hopefully send me, well, he said he's gonna send me over some, uh, maybe some RAS gear and some uh, lures and that. But yeah, like I said, big, big thanks to him. Go and follow him on Instagram. Go and check out his store, the top bloke. Ah, ah, sorry, fish with no bait. Right, I'm going to put one more worm on, guys, and then I'm calling it a day there. And so there's plenty more coming up on the channel as well. It's going to be... I'm going to start doing a bit more bass fishing in the night, I think. Uh, that's where a lot of people are catching their bass in the night time. So... It's really slow at the moment on the bass, I don't know why. I've been numerous times and blanks. Very strange. It might be really late this year, I don't on the boat. I'll say go and check out my video when we had 21 a few weeks ago. That was insane on the boat. Fish out of fish, go and check the uh, channel out. Okay, hit that like button, subscribe. Yeah, let's see if we can get one more. Oh, here we go guys, we've got a bigger fish on here. Look at this guy. Wow, can't get him off the bottom. Go on. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> wow guys, this is a Stonker. <laughs> this is what we came for, baby. Beautiful. Look at that. What a cracking wrap. Look at that, guys. Wow. Absolutely stunning. That's what we came for. Look at that colours. Wow. Gonna get this on hook, guys. I'll get you a better shy. This is awesome. Guys, one last show of that beautiful rash. Wow, revived. She's ready to go. Give me a hell of a fight. So it's only right to send her back. So, right, guys, another video done. Really enjoyed this one today. The weather's been absolutely brilliant. Can't complain. So, no bass, but uh, welcome to see those rats. That nice one to finish a uh, trip off. So yeah, it went back nicely. So yeah, uh, just to break that dock, that's all it takes. I'm well back on the train uh, now, catching the fish. I have a bit more time runs in that now as well, so there'll be plenty more videos to come out on the boat, kayak, on the shore. So we're gonna do a bit of bass fishing in the evenings and that. So yeah, just keep an eye on the channel because there's plenty more to come. But I say, I said in the video before, go and check out uh, Gone Fishing Tackle Shop on Instagram. So I'll uh, leave his name at the bottom of the video here. And uh, yeah, he's got some great stuff in there. Go and have a look. And I give him a follow. So I see he's good enough to give me the jumper and that. So yeah, a legend. So if you've enjoyed the video, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, share on all platforms. I say Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Really put the channel out there. Quick and get 500 subs, the better. You might do a giveaway when we get there. So yeah, it's been CR Fishing Guernsey. And we'll catch you in the next one. Absolute paradise.